Hello, hello, Aries. We're going to do a quick, super quick twin flame check-in. All right, guys, this reading is for those of you um, who um, are in a twin flame energetic relationship, physical relationship, past relationship, doesn't matter. If you have a twin flame, um, a verified twin flame, a you feel like somebody's your twin flame, whatever the case may be, <clears throat> this is for you. If it doesn't resonate, throw it away, right? Aries, 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 Aries. What does Aries need to know? Quick check in for Aries and their twin flame. I am using the, let's see, Neon Awakening Tarot deck. There's a no cussing rule here on YouTube now, but it is from AAF Tarot. AAF, figure it out. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything you need to know about booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Um, recommended readers are in the description box below. Just all the good stuff, okay? All right, cross watchers, welcome. What does Aries need to know? What's going up with Aries? All right, Aries. Ten of Pentacles, you may very well be in a long-term committed relationship with a water sign, okay? Um, or you're feeling very intuitive about something. Ooh, look at this. Passionate new ventures. Success, good luck, creative spark, attraction. And the Seven of Cups. Multiple choices, confusion. So what's going on here? What's going on? What is this Seven of Cups? Because everything looks like it's going good for you, right? So what is this Seven of Cups? What's up? What's up? What's up? You guys are in a long-term committed, com committed relationship. Could be with the King of Cups. Or you are just in your emotional, like, element. You are emotionally intelligent. Intelligent. Can't talk today. What is a seven of cups? The six of swords. So both of, both of these could be, um, there is maybe some confusion about a decision. Um, about travel, having difficult conversations, progress, moving on. What is this about? strength um <clears throat> don't forget the end game okay so whatever is going on here i don't feel like is um is horrible i feel like because you're in a twin fl flame relationship or energetic relationship i do think that you are in a relationship with this person um and they're, they may be feeling really passionate about some dream that they have. And you may feel like they're keeping secrets from you. Maybe they're just not ready to talk about it. Whatever the case may be, I don't necessarily feel it as being um, a bad thing. But in a twin flame relationship, you know, things can get murky pretty quick if we're not on our toes. Okay, so let's see what's up. The snake, <laughs> competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. That could be very well how you're feeling, especially if you don't feel like they're talking to you, right? I don't see that here, though. Who's walking who? Control, power issues, being let on. Okay, somebody here um, is very, very paranoid. Somebody in this relationship, whether it's you, Aries, or your person, okay? Uh, seduction. Third party interference. I feel like more so than this being um, a third party person, I feel like this is an opportunity. It could be a job. Um, it could be a new contract with something, a way to make money, a way to um, make some more dreams come true. What is this seven of cups? What is this seven of cups? Because I'm just the screw leaving quickly. Wow. What is going on? Somebody here is, there is, there is something going on in a marriage. The marriage is okay, but one of you is really not believing the other and it is going to cause problems. It's going to cause problems. Yep. It's going to cause problems. Why are you, and we've got coffin on the bottom of the deck, Aries. If you feel like your person is sneaking around because they're not telling you everything, you know, um, I don't feel like this is a new person. I really don't. I feel like this is something that they want to chase, a dream, a job, a travel opportunity, business partnership, and you are not having it. Fool, yeah, they want to take a leap of faith. Could be traveling, um, but they want to grow their money, and it's all, and it could be wound up in paperwork. 
Five of Pentacles, but you feel out in the cold. Um, wanting equal give and take um, from this mind game situation, but I think you've made it up in your head. And it's going to cause the ending of this, of this relationship right now. Um, and here's the problem. Your person is your Ten of Pentacles and is your King of Pentacles. All right. So we always have this runner chaser dynamic. Okay. If you guys are together and you are obsessed with thinking that somebody is sneaky, you may very well lose this person. So I need you to talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them. Because there may very well be a third party energy, but I don't see it being a person. I really don't. Um, I see it being anything but. Okay. So um, let me know how that resonates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and uh, watch my other videos, and I will see you on the flip.